Okay, so today I'm going to show you all the best looking taillight setup for a 4th gen Ram. So this is going to be your, your regular taillights and your third brake light. Um, you've already seen what they are, so now I'll tell you. They are 5th gen HD truck taillights. So they're going to be off the 2019 and 2020 Ram 2500 and 3500 trucks. Um, they're going to be obviously the upgraded LED ones. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know what they're. I think they're the base halogen ones too, just like the fourth gens did. But these are a direct bolt-on. Now, the tail lights you need to get a harness from the retro shop. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. He has two harnesses. One's 150, and the taillights will flash, uh, or the the uh, brakes and turn signals will flash orange. And you know the brakes actually are red on those, so sorry, I'm talking turn signals only. Turn signals will flash orange on the stock trucks. Now, he has two harnesses. One harness, you can have orange turn signals, amber, whatever you want to call it. The other harness, you can have red. The, the red harness is actually 50 bucks cheaper and it's a little bit less complicated. The one with the orange um, ties into your trailer harness and stuff. So you can kind of look that up on his website, Retro Shop, I think it's .us. Uh, he's out of St. Louis. He gets his stuff shipped out real quick to me because I'm in the Kansas City area. So anyways, um, the quality, fit and finish of these obviously are OEM quality. So I'm going to pull over here. We'll take some videos of it. Um, now I bought, well, I'll, I'll explain that here in a minute. So sit tight. I, I brought a tripod so you can see all the functions of them. I can be in the truck and stuff. So yeah, these things look badass. I absolutely love them. So sit tight. So that was the overview of all the lights, um, kind of how they look. I'll, I'll go in a little bit more detail here in a minute because I'll pull one of them off and show you what the harness looks like. Um, how it plugs in, how it bolts into the truck. Um, and then if you guys know much about these lights, you'll notice that I tinted the, hang on. I tinted the, uh, you'll see why I'm holding on here in a sec. So he's coming up behind me at lights and sirens. Oh, Jesus Christ, they turn them off. AMR, great. So anyways, they, um, I tinted, they, they sell overlays online. I tinted over the turn signals and the reverse lights because those are real, they're like a real bright clear. Um, and they kind of, they kind of contrast with the black section in the middle of the tail light and the dark red on the outside. So I kind of wanted to tone those down a little bit. They kind of match the black plastic deal in the middle. Um, they do sell variations of these where, uh, kind of repositions. So they do sell variations of these that have blind spot monitors built into them. Rumor has it that you can get that to work with some Alpha OBD love and, and all the stuff. I'm not getting into all that because I don't care. I mean, it's, it's a nice feature to have. My wife's car has it. But um, I also like the looks of these with the black plastic in the middle a lot better. So anyways, it's kind of an overview. I will, uh, I gotta run an errand real quick. I will take them home and pop one of them off, show you all the harness. And I can't really think of much more to go into with them. I mean, 
they're taillights and they're the best looking taillights you can get for these trucks so prices um, like I said a, a few minutes ago Jeremy's harnesses are either 150 or 200 and I don't want to speak for him but I think all of his stuff is free shipping if I remember right I could be wrong um, and then the tail lights is where your cost comes into so I found the third brake light for 250 which you know what I'll get it up close on that too because it's got a built-in cargo camera if you've got the Uconnect 8.4 you can actually run a harness and get that to work with Alpha OBD. Again, I just think it's the best looking third brake light, so I'm probably not going to mess with all that. Plus, I don't want to jack with um, dropping the headline and all that fun stuff. So, anyways, I paid $250 for the third brake light. Pretty steep, yes, but all the aftermarket third brake lights out there, with maybe the exception of the Recon, are just crap. I mean, the, the you know, I, I had one on this truck and my last one and they were okay but they seemed to fade over time and stuff um and then the th the actual brake lights your main lights i got mine for you can find them between five and six hundred bucks uh, like i said i won't say what i paid because i don't want somebody to go out there expecting they're gonna find that you know in different parts of the country canadian guys your prices are going to be different, but uh, you can find them for five to six hundred. That's a pretty good deal. Brand new at the dealer, they're going to be probably I don't know seven eight hundred bucks. Jeremy sells them for I want to say seven fifty plus the harness. I, I, that's just off memory. So uh, I'm always trying to find a better deal, and I just happened to on eBay is where I got them. They're brand new takeoffs out of Texas. They shipped them up to me, and uh, when they got here, they looked brand new. So. You know, there's always some risk associated with that too. You don't want to get a part that shows up that's used, that's got, you know, LEDs out and stuff. I don't know what their quality control is, but anyways, I'm super happy with them. Probably one of my top five mods. They're definitely the best looking taillight setups you can get for these trucks. Um, I was gonna have them tinted. This is another real quick thing. A lot of guys will vinyl tint, like a, it's like a tent film. It's not like a window tint and it's not like a regular vinyl you'd put on your paint. It's kind of in between. It's a little bit stretchy and most of them have the bubbles, you know, the uh, air release of the bubbles come out. These taillights are so textured, my guy could not get them fully tinted. So you'd have to have them sprayed and I wasn't sure I'd want to do that just because they can fade over time and it's like two or three hundred bucks to have them sprayed. So I just bought that overlay kit to try over the clear uh, turn signals and reverse light. I'm really happy with that. I, I think it looks nice and clean. Um, so let, let me know what you guys think. I'll get a little bit closer up on that third brake light. Um, and then the, the cargo light too on it. It's just as bright as can be. So if there's anything else you guys wanna see, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Hope you all stay healthy. Hope everybody's uh, keeping their jobs and stuff with everything going on. You know, the COVID crap is getting worse again. So anyways, I figured I'd make a video. You know, there's a few guys that enjoy watching these. It's kind of a break from uh, the constant crap you hear in the news and stuff. So anyways, enjoy the lights and I will check on you soon. Stay healthy, guys. Have a good Thanksgiving. And the last part of this. So, oh, that's a tire for my father-in-law, ignore that. So, this, and I know it's hard to see because it's sunny. This third brake light, or this uh, cargo lamp, holy crap, it's bright. I know you can't see it on the video because I'm at a kind of a crappy angle with the sun, but it's super bright. And then there's that camera if you guys wanted it to work. So, anyways, I'll go home, pop out one of these taillights, show you everything, and that'll be it. Okay, so you'll see... Now, I do. I just did these the other day. There's a couple bubbles I need to take out. This is like a knot, or this is like a uh, deal in the actual taillights. You can't really mess with that, but I think they look good with the, the subtle tint. So, anyways, this is the harness part. The head, the taillight came without this on here, so it was just the plugs. This is the harness you get from Jeremy. Top quality as always. Um, it just plugs into here and here. So this is gonna be your main control harness and this is for your backup lights and that's it. I mean, it, it, you can see right here, it's just like the fourth gen tail light. There's two uh, Torx head bolts and, and that's it. So the third brake light, even easier. 
two Phillips head screws, and then I added a I added a seal around it to kind of make sure um, it doesn't leak like every other fourth gen does. So into the cab. So, anyways, that about wraps it up. Uh, I think it's the second time I'm wrapping it up, but I wanted to show you guys that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, ask me below. You can check out 4th Gen Rams on Facebook. And um, make sure you like and subscribe and, and share these if you, if you like them. You know, it helps me out just because uh, I, like, I like spending my time making them. So anyways, you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.